Noah. Hey. What are you doing? Uh, you know, just looking for my cane. I got it. Oh, uh, here. Thanks. I thought you'd be in Dallas by now. I'm not going. Are you telling me that Dr. Oliver left without you? I can't believe him. No, no, Luke. He's still here, too. It, uh, turns out he might not leave at all. Why not? Well, he told me he might take a permanent job at Memorial. Are you kidding me? I thought you couldn't wait to get back to Dallas. <laughs> Guess not. Well, that's great. I mean, Noah, when are you going to move back in? I just came back here to, to pick up something that, that I left from before. Well, obviously you can't move in right now, but... But if you're not going to Dallas... Luke, I need to be by myself, wherever I am. That hasn't changed. I need to learn how to take care of myself. Well, you can do that here, you know. No, I can't. Okay, we tried that before and it didn't work. I have to be able to fumble around and bump into stuff, and you're all... You're too nice to let me do that. Well, we'll ignore you. I promise. Luke... You just picked up a cane for me. Right. I did. Sorry. So... Why are you here then? Just to pick up my, my soundtrack CDs. Oh, you left them. I was gonna mail them to you in Dallas once I got an address. I'll get them. Noah? Where do we go from here? Uh, what, what do you mean? Well, if you're gonna stay in town, I'm gonna run into you in Old Town or, or Java or you know, somewhere. Well, what do you want me to say? You say hello. Really? Luke, come on. We're still friends. Friends? Yeah. In six months from now? After you have your surgery and you're better? What about then? Luke, I, I, I just, I can't think that, that far ahead right now. Well, I can't stop thinking about it. Luke, we don't know what's going to happen. I, I can't make a decision about something that I can't even predict. But I thought that there is, there's one thing that would never change. What's that? It's okay. I miss us. So do I. Really? Look, I, I, I know I must be sending you all sorts of mixed messages right now. Yeah, kind of. But I, I don't want you to think that I'm trying to push you away. <sighs> well, honestly, no. That's, that's what it feels like right now. I know. But it's just, it's what I need to do right now for myself and for you. How is this for me? I don't want to have to resent you. Resent me? For helping you? When it's... Your help is the last thing I want right now. Did you see that? No! I can't, Noah. I'm sorry. How many times did you help me when I didn't want it? When I was paralyzed? When I got expelled? When Damien came back? That was different. I know that was different. But I wasn't. You stood by me. Even though I tried to push you away. How can you expect me not to stand by you right now? You still don't get it. Then tell me, Noah. Explain it to me, please. When all those other things were over. You were still you. I will never be the same Noah Mayer I was before. Dr. Oliver doesn't think that's true. Dr. Oliver is sure he can give me my sight back. And I want a doctor who's sure, but I can't be. I, I can't be because I'm going to have to live the rest of my life like this if he fails. But then why do you think you need to learn all of this stuff on your own if we're going to be together? Noah, what, what are you trying to say here? We don't, we don't know what's going to happen. Oh, I, 
I always thought that we both knew we wanted to spend the rest of our lives together. Things change. <laughs> Please stop using that excuse. I'm sorry. I, I wish I could make this easier. I wish I could do this better, but I can't. You know, when you were going to Dallas, I thought that that was the worst thing that could happen, but I was wrong. This is the worst thing. Knowing that you're going to be in town and that I still can't be with you. It's just what I need to do. What about what I need? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I know that this is selfish. I'm just being honest. And I'm sorry too. I need more from you. And if you can't give me that, then I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I let you down in this way I can never make up for. You didn't. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, so do you. I just really thought I. I really thought that if we would last forever. I, I, I thought we weren't like other couples. Yeah, well, I guess nothing lasts forever. <laughs> I guess not. No, you, you don't have to take the cab. I can drive no, you. No, no, it's, it's, it's better like this. No, I... I Yeah, same here. <clears throat> hey, Ali. How'd you know it was me? Your perfume. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I'm getting real good at this whole, uh, being blind thing. You okay? No, um, not really. Relationship problems? Not anymore. Oh, you and Luke? You know, if, if it's all right with you, can you not talk about it? Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. Uh, if you want to be alone, I... I can no, just... no, 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 I, I don't mind the, the company, Allison. It's just, um... You know, actually, you might be able to help me out with something else. What's that? Um, I'm, I'm looking for a new place to live, and uh, it's kind of tricky for me to look at the real estate listings right now. Well, I, I thought you were going to Dallas. Well, you haven't heard? No, Dr. Oliver's staying. He just called me. I thought he couldn't wait to get out of Oakdale. They are building him his own neurology wing here at Memorial. Wow, okay. That's a pretty convincing reason to stay. Yeah. So, uh, why do you need a new place to live? Oh, I was living with Maddie, but... She went back to school, and I can't really afford the rent on my own. So, get a new roommate. <laughs> Being gay and blind doesn't really put you at the top of the cool people to live with list. <laughs> Have you tried looking for someone? No, I just figured it'd be easier to you know, find my, my own new place. Well, not anymore. I'll move in with you. You would? Yeah. yeah but don't you live with your mother? Which? is exactly why I need a new place to live. Are you sure you'd want to live with me? Yeah, I mean, if you'll have me. I, I just, I have to let you know that I, I may not be the best company right about now. I think that makes two of us. <laughs> okay, well, that sounds perfect, then. And if you change your mind about wanting to talk to someone, I mean, that's what roommates are for. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, if you will. Deal. <laughs> oh, just my luck. All right, go ahead. Lay it on me. What are you talking about? Come on, I'm sure you're eager to tell me what a sellout I am. I really don't care what you are right now. Oh, bad day? Like you care. No, what happened? Did you, your butler misplaced your silver spoon? Uh, you know, I'm done here. Can I help you with something? Is that supposed to be a joke? Do I know you? Yeah, I didn't think you'd remember me. But I remember you, you son of a bitch. 
You obviously have a problem with me, but see, I'm at a disadvantage. I don't know who you are or what your problem is. Well, my problem is that you're a murderer. On the next As the World Turns. We're finished here. No, we're not. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs>